39 years ago. <laughs> Uh, to Smallville. Smallville was a great show. It was on for 10 years. That's awesome. And I'm on a, a show now called The Haves and the Have Nots, a Tyler Perry show. John Schneider is an American actor and country music singer. He's best known for his portrayal of Bo Duke in the American television action comedy series The Dukes of Hazard, opposite Tom Wolpat, Catherine Bach, and James Best. Jonathan Kent in the TV series Smallville, and Jim Cryer on the television series The Haves and Have Nots, created by Tyler Perry. Alongside his acting career, Schneider's been a singer since the early 1980s, releasing nine studio albums and a greatest hits package, as well as 18 singles. This total includes I've Been Around Enough to Know, Country Girls, What's a Memory Like You, and You're the Last Thing I Needed Tonight, all of which reached the top of the Billboard Country Singles charts and uh, all throughout the country, like on a bus oh. or a van or a bicycle. And uh, it's so wonderful to have so many people in one spot at the same time. If you enjoy these videos, please remember to hit the like button as it does help us out a lot. And comment below who your favorite celebrity is that you'd love to see in an upcoming video. His full name is John Richard Schneider, but is also known as John. He was born April 8, 1960 in Mount Kisco, New York, making him 61 at the time of this production. He stands six feet three inches tall. John Schneider enjoys reading and spending time with his family and friends. His favorite sports are volleyball and football, and he loves horseback riding. He's also well known for his philanthropic activities. He advocates for quality education, health, and women's rights. He's performed benefit shows, songs, and charity events for women's causes and HIV AIDS awareness. Outside of acting, Schneider was also a successful country singer in the 80s, producing 10 albums to date and 18 singles, all of which stole the top spot on the Billboard Country Singles chart. He was a competitor on season 27 of the popular reality competition show Dancing with the Stars in 2018. His professional partner was Emma Slater, and they were the sixth pair to be eliminated from the season. Schneider was married to former Miss America Tawny Elaine Godin from 1983 to 1986. He married his second wife, Ellie Castle, on July 11, 1993. On December 12, 2014, TMZ reported that Castle had filed for divorce. They have three children, Leah and Chasen, born 1991, both of whom are Castle's children from her first marriage, and their daughter, Karis. Since April 2015, Schneider's been in a relationship with Alicia Elaine, his producing partner and owner of Maven Entertainment. Alicia is also his personal and professional manager. They married in September 2019. In February 2018, it was revealed that Schneider was more than $150,000 behind on spousal support payments. He'd previously been ordered to pay his ex-wife, Ellie Castle, $18,000 a month in support to remedy the situation, he was ordered to give Castle ownership of a property he owns in Apple Valley, California. Schneider told the judge, I'm sorry, embarrassed, and humiliated to be in this financial situation. His ex-wife has complained to the court that Schneider put himself in this situation by taking crappy movie and TV jobs. She also told a judge that Schneider makes around $2,500 to perform a single concert and squandered a large portion of his net worth investing in low-budget, poorly produced movies and TV shows. She further claimed that Schneider's primary source of income is an investment property in Louisiana. In August 2019, a judge ordered Schneider to pay Castle $25,000 per month in spousal support, a cut of his SAG pension, and sole ownership of their $600,000 property. I believe that, that your record as an artist now has to be a potential single. There are no B-sides. There no my uncle wrote a song, so it's going to be an album cut. Schneider was the youngest of three boys for Shirley Conklin and John Jack Schneider III, a pilot who'd served in the U.S. Air Force. His mother's from Sanford, Florida. His family included an older brother, Robert, an artist living in southern New York. His other brother, also called John, died of lung failure at age three, three years before John's birth. John's life as an entertainer began at the age of eight when he put on magic shows for peers and their families. This once got him in trouble when he had himself chained up and tossed into a swimming pool with the intention of recreating Harry Houdini's legendary escape act. When he was 14, he and his mother moved to Atlanta where his love for performing continued. He went to North Springs High School in Sandy Springs, Georgia. 
Schneider's professional acting career began when he was just 17 years old. In 1979, he landed the role of Bo Duke on the popular show The Dukes of Hazzard. He'd continue in the role until the show ended in 1985, appearing in 127 episodes. The show follows Bo and Luke Duke, two young cousins, and their escapades with their friends and family members. During the height of the show's success, Schneider was one of the faces of related merchandise. It's exactly his involvement with the show's merchandise that led him and his co-star Tom Wolpat to leave the show in 1982 for several episodes. They were in a dispute with the show's producers over the distribution of merchandising royalties, a dispute that resulted in several legal suits. Eventually, once the situation was resolved, Schneider and Wolpat returned to their roles on the show. In addition to starring on The Dukes of Hazard, Schneider also tried his hand at directing. He directed the episode Opening Night at the Boar's Nest, which was actually the series finale. He reprised his role as Bo Duke in subsequent projects related to the show, including the made-for-TV films The Dukes of Hazard Reunion, 1997, and The Dukes of Hazard, Hazard in Hollywood, 2000. During his time on The Dukes of Hazard, Schneider also starred in several television films such as Dream House, Happy Endings, and Gus Brown in Midnight Brewster. He also lent his voice as a voice actor to a few projects such as the television film The Raccoons and the Lost Star, and the animated series The Dukes, based on The Dukes of Hazzard. He also starred in a 2014 commercial for Autotrader.com as Bo Duke, along with Tom Wopat as his character Luke Duke. Following the end of The Dukes of Hazzard, he continued to act in television films including Stagecoach, Christmas Comes to Willow Creek, Outback Bound, Highway Heartbreaker, Desperate Journey, The Allison Wilcox Story, Texas, Bandit Bandit, Night of the Twisters, and Michael Landon, The Father I Knew, among others. He also appeared on shows like Wild Jack, Guns of Paradise, Grand Slam, Delta, Dr. Quinn, Medicine Woman, Heaven Help Us, and Second Chances. In his first big regular role after the Dukes of Hazzard, Schneider played Jonathan Kent, the adoptive father of Clark Kent on the show Smallville starting in 2001. He was a series regular for the first five seasons of the show and appeared in 103 episodes. He later returned in season 10 of the show, reprising his role as Jonathan Kent, although this time in a smaller recurring capacity. Additionally, just like with the Dukes of Hazzard, Schneider not only acted on the show Smallville, but also directed some of the episodes as well, including the episode Talisman. I'm having, a, I'm having more fun than ever. I think now at, at uh, 57 years old, there's, there's some truth to you can't sing the blues until you've lived the blues. Schneider makes around $25,000 to perform a single concert and squandered a large portion of his net worth investing in low-budget, poorly produced movies and TV shows. She further claimed that Schneider's primary source of income is an investment property in Louisiana. Schneider's net worth is estimated to be around $200,000. John Schneider lives in a home in Louisiana. His house also incorporates a studio where he works on some independent projects Unfortunately, John Schneider is among many residents of Louisiana whose homes and livelihoods were impacted when Hurricane Ida made landfall in September 2021. A picture on social media shows the damage the storm inflicted on the former Dukes of Hazard star's home, as well as the studio on his land where he films his independent projects. As of now, he's renovated his home. Cars you'll find in his garage include a Tesla Model S, a Chevrolet Impala, and a Lexus LS. 